Do you find it difficult to get your children to eat carrots or indeed any other vegetable? This is one way that my friend Yong Nam Bang found perfect way to get children to eat their carrots. All you do is you get a carrot, and I've got a number of different kinds of carrots here, but they're all absolutely delightful, but you need to take the tips off because they're not very edible. And obviously you need to cut them here because you don't want all the other stuff. So you're basically going to do that and you're going to wash them, of course, before they go in. But I'm just going to use any other ordinary carrot. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is just cut it on the diagonal. So, you can cut it even more thinly if you wish. Cut it like this. But it's the diagonal that makes it look more interesting and it also gives it more of a surface for the infusion of the taste that I'm going to put into it. We need to turn the gas on. And in a small saucepan, you boil some water. Let's just imagine it's boiled. And into the saucepan, you put your smaller bits of carrot. In other words, your thinner pieces of carrot. And you bring it to the boil. And we bring our carrots to what I think they call a royal. Is that a royal or is it a boil? Probably it's a boil. A royal is, I think, a rolling boil. And we take them out. Not particularly carefully, but we take them out of the water. We should not have any salt in it, by the way. I don't use salt. I feel there's enough natural salt in things. So we have these little carrots. Okay, they're just the natural flavor of the carrots. Now, into the water, we put some balsamic vinegar or rice vinegar or any other kind of vinegar that you like, but I'm using balsamic this time. So we put the balsamic into the water. Now that has to come to a boil. What are we going to put in there? We're going to put in our thicker pieces of carrot. Now remember, carrot is quite sweet. So we're not putting any added sugar, but some people like to put sugar in with this because the the vinegar is obviously quite acidic, but I personally think that the carrots can contain enough sugar to deal with it. So I'm going to bring that to the boil. We've got our thicker pieces of carrot in our mixture of water and balsamic vinegar. It's been brought to the boil, and now we take the heat down, 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 down to a very slow simmer. That simmers for about five minutes. And after that, we have two kinds of carrots. Now I've turned the water a bit higher because I want to speed the cooking process up, but I've taken one of the pieces of carrot out after only about five minutes. It's hot. It's got a slight vinegary taste, which is most intriguing. And the great thing is you can eat it in a hospitable manner. So in other words, it's not raw carrot. I'm going to turn the heat on. I'm going to take these pieces of carrot out of the mixture, the water and the vinegar. Because you can use the mixture again if you want to do more. I've only just done a few. You can do two or three carrots. And I'm going to take this vegetable, which is an endive. It's a member of the daisy family, the Asteraceae, and a slightly bitter taste. But isn't it gorgeous? It's so soft. It's like a little garden. And that's exactly what we're going to do with the carrot. We're just going to stick the carrot into the endive. It creates almost a kind of crown feeling, which is really appealing to the eye, don't you think? Probably not quite enough to thing, but we've got our... So these are the 
the savoury ones you like, the ones with the vinegar. We would do more normally, but we'll just do a few. And into the middle, we're going to put some mayonnaise, like so. And a final touch, a good old trusty HP sauce. Which I'm just going to put in here, because it probably flop out all over the place if I'm not careful. HP sauce is one of my favourite sauces. And I'm just going to swish it around. One of the ingredients of HP sauce is tamarind and it's the most intriguing flavour. So, you take your carrot, this is a, just the ordinary carrot, no particular taste. Mm, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And then you've got your savoury one with the vinegary taste, which you can have without dipping it in, because it's, mm, it's lovely. The carrot has become an instant pickle. So you don't have to buy pickles. You can make your own pickled carrots, pickled turnips, and other root vegetables that can absorb acid. And you've got this delicious special mayonnaise, and I guarantee people say, where did you get that from? Mm. Well, comes from this bottle and you can use the endive later you can wash the mayonnaise and you can have it as salad but I just think it's a beautiful presentation I think children like the idea you can put other little vegetables in there as well kind of hiding under the undergrowth and you have the option of the of the savory mayonnaise some people just like the raw carrot but it's the presentation, always the presentation.